Welcome to my YouTube channel guys, this is David Samuel on this video tutorial and for this particular video tutorial, I will be teaching you guys how I was able to achieve this on Pizzle Lab. So this is Pizzle Lab mobile application, this is the app we will be using for this tutorial. So this is it, you can see the design, the spiral logo. So I saw this something related on Pinterest and I decided to replicate it. So replicating it does not mean I replicated it exactly, I added a little touch and I made it different. So in case you see something similar know that i wasn't the initiator of this design i wasn't the, the initiator of this design i just did it for the sake of tutorial so now let's go let me delete this let me delete this so if you, in case you are this is your first time of visiting Pizza lab this is how it looks like everything you are seeing here is what we're using for the design so ignore everything you are seeing here and let's use the let's make use of the one necessary for this tutorial so first of all what we are going to be doing is we are going to be deleting this test and how do you delete you click on this place delete okay now what are we going to do next you click on this place you click on this place you see shapes this is shapes here click on shapes then you can see radius radius is on zero you take it to 100 and it has made it a circle shape so now you scroll down a bit a bit then you choose black this is black be very careful when choosing black because you you see some shades of black you might not see exact black but if you scroll a bit more you see this is pure black okay now you now scroll to relative position this is relative position you click on it you click on the top one this one and this one this is me trying to centralize it then I will now click on copy this time around I'm going to reduce it okay so this is the copied one I copied it I made it to then let's go to relative si relative size reduce it to like 35 or 34 let me make it 34 okay now let's go to color and make it white so this is color this is color immediately click on color you enable it then you scroll a bit and you see white. you can see this is one shade of white this is another shade of white the last one is usually the the best one this is the last shade of white then you bring it to the center again you now go to little position this is little position here click on up click on down this one i still centralized it so now that's all then what are we going to do let's go to shapes again before I, it was like this before i now click on on any any empty space you can click on any empty space to go back you can see it has been neutralized already so i want to click on you have not see shape and should, should in case you are maybe you are here you are looking for shape shapes is not here shapes is in this place you click on it you see shapes so this is it okay so now this is shape this is a square shape so what i'm going to do now i want to be sure of my measurement so i'll introduce the ruler the grid lines this is the grid lines you click on this place then i want to bring my square i want you to watch this thing carefully so you can be able to replicate it so you can see what i'm doing i brought this grid line so that i can measure from the center because i need it to be cut short from the center are you seeing it now you can see it's very accurate right so this is it i will now click on i'm done with the grid line so i'll click on it again to remove it then i will now click on layers this is called layers you click on it click on this place mark them mark them then you click on this place are you sure you want to match the selected object yes i want to match everything together then what next i will now scroll remember if immediately you are done and you click on home if you click on any empty space it you will not be able to work on it except you, before you can work on any object you have to click on the object first so this that should sound as a gentle reminder then you go to erase color this is erase color erase color you click on it then enable are you seeing it now then you increase the tolerance to 70 which is the highest now what are you going to do next we are, not, we are going to copy it copy it has now become two this is like duplicating it it's like duplicating it then it has be, become two already so what are we going to do next so we scroll you can see it's still the object is still selected before you can work on it it must be selected you can see it's still selected so you click on 3d rotate 
then the y axis you rotate the y axis to 180 are you seeing it okay then you now take it up a bit you can see you can see what i'm doing right then let me go to my position this is position i will now reduce it to one so that if let me show you why i reduce it to one if you are taking you can see what i'm doing you can see the way it's moving but if i reduce it to one now it will be moving small small little by little so that's the reason why so i want to be accurate so i have to reduce it you can see the way it is right so it's very accurate now now what i'm going to do next i'm going to make the two together so this is the layers you remember where we clicked on you click on the layers you click on this place you merge the two together you click on this center place okay it has been merged together then you copy it then we reduce it to maybe let's go to relative position let's say reduce it to like 20 let's see no sorry okay let's go and lock this one first this, this is a small one let's lock the big one this is a big one here the big one let's lock it click on lock come to this place Okay, position. You can see what I'm doing, right? This is the position. Okay, I'm still working on it. You can see. So let's assume this to be 22. So the small one is going to be 22. Okay, so we are done with it. So let's go and unlock it now so we can know the size. The big one is 50. The small one is 22. Why the big one is 50? In case you are doing your own measurement, you should take note of those measurements. The big one is 50. Why the small one is 22? So when I'm done, I will now click on layers and merge both things together, both objects. It has been merged together. So now what am I going to do? I'll reduce it. You can see. You can see this thing is not hard. So I can bring my grid lines again so I can measure to know the center. You can see. You can see. Okay, so it's fine now. Let's leave it like this for now. Then let's bring test. This is test. You click on this A you are seeing here, then you see test there. Bring it. And you, you double click it spiral you write spiral the first one big letter capital letter then a small one spiral okay then you increase it you increase it holding this place and see you can increase it by holding this place so now okay let's go to font this is font under that same a you have to click on the text first you have to select it, click on it first before you can edit it. You go to font. This is font. Forget my font. Forget recent. Just work under this font since you are new to Pizzle Lab. So I will not take you that far. So this is just like a shallow design. So let's go down. You will see these are fonts. These are default font. They are called default font. That comes along with Pizzle Lab. So you click, you start from here. One, two, you are not clicking on everything i'm just i'm just trying to count for you so you know where to click you click on the third arabic font this one okay so this is how sweet it is you can see this is this design is simple and i i'm just i'm doing this design for the sake of um those starting out so this is like a very cheap design so follow me carefully So this is like a basic design if you follow this tutorial carefully you will definitely know how to go about it so now let's say we are done let's say we are done with this design so we still need to add a little spice to it and how do we go about the spice let me on my data connection so if you don't have pinterest you can go to google but i will suggest you have a pinterest account so you click on pinterest 
on Pinterest and see you search by clicking on this place then you, you click on search then you type farmland that is because Spyro I, I want to assume that Spyro is a farming brand so let's type farmland to get farming images you can see okay let's go with this one you click on this place download so now we now go back to Pizzo Lab and click on this place, this last place. Scroll from from gallery. It will take it to your gallery. Then you see it. Are you seeing it now? Are you seeing it? Then, okay. I think I need to reduce this test a little. Let's bring the test to 100. Yes. Then this to 12. Then change the color of the of the icon to white also. And see. So you can see how sweet the design is, right? Then if you notice, okay, it's kind of too sharp, right? So you click on shape okay this is shape you click on click on shapes then you increase it that's what i'm doing right so you scroll down to color scroll down to color you can see different colors here you can use any one actually but it should be related to the brand you are designing for so in case you don't have this color don't worry use anyone for since it's just practical use anyone let's click on this let's click on this one and okay i see it then you take it to the back this one see take it to the back here you click on it then you scroll to opacity this is opacity you start reducing it start reducing it so this is it now you can see we have arrived at the design so this is how sweet the design is if you know your way around it so this is this is it for a start this is like um a starters design um practical now since you are done with the design it's time to save your design so how do you now save the design you click on this place this top place you see as project you first of all save as project this is to enable you revisit it maybe in case you discover any correction or anything that needs to be corrected so maybe give it this project name you can decide to give it anything at all spy then okay it has been saved as project already then you proceed to before you proceed to save as normal image is this image that goes to your gallery the project remains on puzzle app let's see some of my projects you can see projects right so projects remains in your puzzle app why your images they want to save as images go to your gallery so i've saved as project it's time to save as image i go to my dimension and click on ultra ultra is the highest quality on puzzle lab it helps retain your quality so after i've changed the dimension to ultra i will now click on save to gallery it has been saved to my gallery already i cannot visit it in my gallery so this is how sweet design is i hope you enjoyed this video tutorial if this is your first time visiting this channel i want you to subscribe to my channel turn on your notification bell in case of any useful to video tutorial like this and please do well to share with your friends and drop your review in the comment section. Thank you so much.